Berkeley. 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 A year ago, we formally embarked on a Johns Hopkins University identity initiative. What's an identity initiative? In the most basic terms, it's an effort to create visual unity across the entire university. Right now, we're not so unified. Why does this matter? Because a shared visual identity allows us to begin telling a more cohesive and powerful story by better leveraging all of the university's strengths. and every one of you today left behind comforting familiarity to come here to Penn. You embraced a more intellectually challenging, inclusive, and demanding world. You have woven a rich tapestry of friends and memories. Now the task before you, stay at the loom. Speak out and stand up. Weave together a world better, freer and more inclusive. I think what Harvard is really skilled at is bringing people together. I've definitely learned a lot about how to be a person in the world. There is like this infinite sense of possibility. Being surrounded by all these people that are pushing themselves inspires me to then push myself. One, two, three, RPL! Pretty much everybody I know is pursuing what they're pursuing because they desire to have an impact. They're on this mission of discovery of really their own passion and how to be an engaged citizen in society. When you're here, you're here for a reason. Just hold on for the ride because it's fun and wild and crazy. Can you read that last sentence for us? Yeah. No one I read somewhere a long time ago makes his escape personality black. That's amazing. That, I mean, it's a stunning sentence. Yeah. Can I ask you, is that true? Hold on one second, is that true? I think it is. Why? What's so wonderful about liberal arts education is that it's powered by a commitment to truth. Truth is something which needs to be discovered. It needs to be uncovered.
I remember when I was a freshman coming to Stanford, I was pretty jittery. I was really nervous and I was just thinking, wow, I do not know anybody out here. And that can be pretty intimidating. Stanford was just like the great unknown. Um, no one in my family had gone to college, so there was no preparing for college speech about what it meant to live in a room with a stranger you don't know. Um, I was scared about whether I would fit in or if my personality, my temperament, some of the things I like to do would be Stanford normative or would have a place at Stanford. I think that new student orientation is about beginnings. Discovering self, discovering others, discovering who you want to be in this next phase of your life. New student orientation begins the year here at Stanford. And so it's when all of the new students move in on the same day, and then they go through a series of activities together that bond them as a class. And that's was important because I met my upperclassmen mentors who really shaped my Stanford trajectory. And they just really made sure that I felt at home and comfortable in my first week at Stanford. When you come into Stanford, you meet a lot of people. So you might meet someone your first day. of legacies you want to leave, but also get your sense that this is your big, beautiful place. This is your home.